Hi, welcome to the section on emergency procedures. We'll go through each of the emergency procedures below um, that we're going to discuss in, in our um, workshop segments. So I hope you enjoy the workshop segments. Um, they're interactive. We are talking from the perspective of the second birth attendant in these particular workshops. So when you first become a student, you will be in an assistant role most of the time for the first, you know, while until you learn and it will take quite a bit of time to learn that. So over time when you're assisting at a delivery, you're basically assisting the midwife that you're working for and that you're learning under and that you're mentoring with. And so, um, so just knowing how to assist her will really be a, ble a big blessing to her and um, it will also help you to be a more effective student and to learn and just have a, uh, an apprenticeship. If you happen to have that apprenticeship model um, opportunity, it will definitely be um, important for you to know how to assist in an emergency situation because um, many times when you have an emergency situation there's more than one thing that you would have to do at the same time so maybe the midwife for example with shoulder dystocia she might be helping to get the woman over onto her hands and knees if there's a little bit of a delay with the shoulder or there's a real true shoulder dystocia and so just helping get the mother over onto her hands and knees that's part of your job so positioning you know or it could be in in certain certain circumstances so just be be ready and and I think we go through the breathing again too so that if you have the fear come up um, even when you're studying this stuff just breathe through it notice it a lot of fears uh, fear attitudes come from the training we get in our society through media through other people's negative birth stories through um, information that we read that is not physiologically based or evidence-based. These, these things that we see and read that are negative, it could even be in a movie. We talked about the negative birth stories and how I will always suggest that it's best not to look at those because they do have an implication. They, 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 you're basically taking on all this information and your brain is filtering it and storing it and you've got the subconscious mind that has definitions that you adopt and you believe. And sometimes those definitions are not accurate. So I think just really um, Re-examining how we look at birth, re-examining how we look at complications, and realizing that the statistics from, for example, MANA, the Midwifery um, Alliance of North America, show improved outcomes when using the midwifery model of care and a skilled care provider and maintaining the parameters of low-risk guardians for birth that the statistics are just phenomenal. I think there was something like 7,000 births and they had a cesarean rate of something like 4.7 overall for all these midwives in North America that were a part of that study. The MANA statistics have been being submitted for many, many years and they have been able to um, extract information from these statistics and show that midwifery model of care is very safe actually safer in some ways so in some in the British uh, countries right now in the UK they are trying to actually change their policies so that about 50% of their population the very 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 low risk will have out-of-hospital birth they're trying to implement that because they've kind of gone more to hospital birth and now they want to move back because it's it's cheaper, it's safer, less infection. So many reasons why. 
So let's go through these. Um, I think I'll. I think what I'll do is I will have this as the introduction to it, just to give you a little of information, and then I'll go through and I'll just do a, a little clip on each one and put it with that workshop so you can see it. So just watch these through. Um, you won't learn every single thing you need to know to deal with these emergencies in this film. This is an introduction to the emergencies. This is with the idea that you would be an assistant, a student under supervision. We will develop this in other levels to include more of a primary role in these um, in these emergency complications. But we will give information um, about uh, how a midwife would generally deal with these as well in this. So you can get an idea of what the midwife will be doing when you're there helping. So um, we'll start with the uh, non-reassuring fetal heart tones and then we'll just move on. We'll do undiagnosed breach, um, shoulder dystocia, maternal shock, postpartum hemorrhage, and then we'll talk about record keeping and emergency transport. So look forward to that and uh, keep on going. You can do it. Hope your skills are going well. Keep practicing and um, continue to, to review things if you are feeling a little less confident. Review them over again and then try. You can continue to learn and improve. Take care. Bless you.